I am in no way associated with any of the games that I mention or their development teams. I am not here to promote any projects or bring projects down for competitive reasons. I am also not here to tell you what you can and cannot do with your money, or what you can and cannot be excited for. The title and thumbnail of this video are partly exaggerated for clicks. If there's one thing that I've learned from being in the animal and dinosaur survival game community, it's that people will buy into anything. The genre and the amount of games, while growing, is still small enough that people's lack of options cause them to get overhyped for pretty much anything that gets announced. I saw an early access trailer recently for a game called Primal Earth, which also has a gameplay trailer that they'd released a month prior. I watched both, and in the 4 minutes total that the trailers go on for, they show off almost nothing except for movement. They have whole scenes of animals just walking around. I even checked their Discord and apart from one post from a year ago with an unfinished attack animation, there's nothing to see when it comes to animals actually interacting. They also never showcase their growth, which is supposed to be a big part of the game. And yet, for some reason, people are getting hyped for this game, despite the fact that animal survivals and dinosaur games are probably two of the most common genres when it comes to half ass releases and scams. That's not to say that this game is either of those, I'm sure the developers are trying their best, but when there's this little to show in an already crowded market of African animal games, the amount of excitement for this project is honestly pretty concerning. It seems as though the community of this genre is unable to wait for actual gameplay before they start hyping up and paying for this stuff. There are hundreds of donators and or patrons online in their Discord server at the time of writing this, which alone is almost $10,000 raised. This is not even taking into account people that are offline and people that have paid for multiple months of the Patreon. Maybe I'm just not familiar with the other African animal games, and they're straight up unplayable or something. But looking at all the available information, Primal Earth still offers nothing new when compared to those other games. Similar to other projects I've seen in this genre, PE seems to be riding on the promise of being better than what came before it, while offering nothing unique to fall back on in case that fails. Whether the intention of the devs is to make a game that's better than the others or not, that's the only thing it really has going for it. There are so many options that offer uniqueness in the animal sim genre. The Amazon rainforest, the poles, Belize, Siberia, how you could go into the water and make one about our oceans. Yet despite that, all of these games either go for Africa, or they go for a mess of animals from all around the world that makes you wonder where the immersion is supposed to come from, and people still pay for all of them. This is not me trying to hate on the development team or bring them down, I hope they succeed, but it really would not kill for some of you guys to wait a little bit before throwing your money at these games. Then there's the opposite, the one that's too unique, too different, too ambitious, the hype monster. I'm talking about Historia. While the games in this genre usually aren't exactly a breeze to develop, Historia was the most obvious case of a you-can-do-everything game that I've seen as far as dinosaurs go. Promising all three different eras, each with a different map, perhaps even multiple maps, 300 creatures, symbiosis, minigames, seasons, functioning dinosaur AI that is difficult to tell apart from a player, environmental hazards, multiple game modes, aquatic creatures, modding, apex territories, and probably much more than I don't even know about, all while keeping up with scientific accuracy. Now Historia has been completely dead since I exposed the lead developer, leaving all those that back this game to unfortunately never see it be released. And they don't deserve to have their money wasted, I do feel bad for them. But damn man, what did you expect? Even if this didn't happen, did you really think that this game would be fully released ever? It might sound unfair to also blame the people that backed it, but I, I kinda do. And over the years they've shown off what exactly? Movement tests and interactable send? That's all I've seen from them at least. Even if the development of this game kept going as it was, this shit would have taken them, what, like 20 years at least? Not even accounting for all the accuracy changes they'd have to make along the way. This isn't even a new or genre specific thing. We've had these kinds of we have everything games a bunch of times before, even on the same crowdfunding sites that you were backing this game with. And yet somehow people continue to buy into them and get shocked when it never releases or they just straight up get scammed. Overall, just be a bit more careful with your bloody money, and raise your standards a bit. I know that's hard with this genre, but give it a go, eh?